I'm here with Ira Volk from IRAs. Thank you so much, Ira, for taking the time to speak with me. Thank you. In your experience, how many of the small to mid-sized hotels out there are using revenue management effectively? Well, currently in the um, hotel industry, in the U.S. hotel industry specifically, there is not a very large portion of hotels that employ any type of revenue management techniques in their daily operations. Uh, most of those hotels are from the upscale, upper tier. If we're talking about middle and lower tier segments, now we can say that a very small portion of them, maybe about 10 to 15 percent, um, use any type of revenue management techniques and um, perform any type of revenue management activities and manage their revenues efficiently. Um, those hotels, they normally don't have enough knowledge or they think they don't have enough knowledge or resources or time to perform these actions. So that's the main reason why they, uh, they don't employ revenue management tactics. They also underestimate the importance of these actions and um, underestimate the ROI from revenue management techniques on their top line. And what benefits will owners realize? What top line benefits will they see when they start using a proactive revenue management strategy? Well, that really depends on how bad it was before they started doing something. So let's say they didn't um, employ any revenue management tactics at all. They were not fluctuating their prices. They used, you know, the same price, uh, maybe a set it for four different seasons, never fluctuated that, never really did anything else on top of the pricing strategies. And they suddenly they start doing um, effective revenue management. We can say that easily they can grow 20, 25, 30% um, in their rest bar annually. Um, if they were doing some type of revenue management activities and they, let's say, they, they employ an automated revenue management solution um, and have a great tool to assist them in their daily revenue management actions, then we can talk about, let's say, additional 10 to 15% of revenue growth to their top line, to their rest bar. Um, for an average middle tier hotel, um, let's say 100 room middle tier property, we can talk about three, four, five hundred thousand dollars a year, uh, while the expenses are only going to be a few hundred dollars a month, probably. So that's a great ROI on this investment. What are the three steps that hotels need to take to start realizing this kind of revenue? Well, the first step I would say that any hotel should do is to start fluctuating their prices according to the demand fluctuation. And the concept of pricing fluctuation is very simple. Uh, it's based on the supply and demand correlations. So obviously the stronger the demand is, the higher the price should be. The slower the demand is, the lower the price should be. And um, again, it's a very simple concept. and. You don't need to be a certified revenue manager to be able to do this on a daily basis. You just need to find half an hour, an hour a day, maybe even less, to in order to start doing this. Just view the data, look at your dynamics, and start fluctuating your price based on the uh, market dynamics, market fluctuation. So the second step, um, if you already have pricing, uh, dynamic pricing implemented, the second step would be non-pricing strategies, like managing your stay restrictions, managing your booking channels, overselling and whatnot. Uh, so that's the second level of revenue management um, for middle-tier hotels or low-tier hotels. And then at uh, the top of the pyramid, I would say, would be employing some type of automated revenue management tool, which helps greatly in making objective, correct pricing decisions for every single day in the future, for the next 365 days into the future. And there are a lot of different tools for middle tier and lower tier hotels right now that are out in the market. They're not very expensive. And as I mentioned previously, the ROI on these tools could be very significant. So for an average middle tier hotel, that would be three, four, five hundred thousand dollars $500,000 with the expenses of only a few hundred dollars a month. Again, I was just speaking with Ira Volk, one of the founding members at iRates. Ira, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. Thank you. Thank you for your time. It was really nice speaking with you, too.